What is up YouTube? It's your boy Oprah Side nigga and in this video I'm gonna be showing you the absolute fastest way to get your my player to a 99 overall. Now this technique is the same technique that I used on my point guard, that I used on my small forward, and that I used on my center. Alright now this video was subscriber requested a lot of my sons were asking me if I could show them how to get their my player to 99 so don't worry y'all I got y'all but to all of my subs who were trying to get their my player to 99 this is what I will tell you that to get your my player to 99 it's super easy it's not a glitch so you don't have to worry about getting banned or anything but it does take a little bit of time and it will require a little bit of heart, a little bit of determination. But you'll know what I mean by that in a second. First, let me explain to you what exactly you need to do. All right. Now, when you first start off with your new My Player, 2K gives you 75 upgrades available. Each one of these bars is an upgrade. You see how mine says four upgrades available? I go one, two, three, four. And those are my upgrades right there. Now it says zero. But when you start off with your brand new My Player, 2K gives you 75 upgrades available. Now you're gonna need VC for those upgrades, granted. But, they're, but the upgrades themselves are already unlocked. All you need is VC. There are a hundred total upgrades that you can have for your My Player. 2K gives you 75 to start off. The last 25 you earn by playing My Career Games. Now every seven games that you play you get an upgrade at the end of those seven games. But if you were to play all of those games, it would take a super long time. Super long time. Because that means essentially to get 100 of 100 upgrades, you would have to play seven times 25 games. And that's a crazy amount of games. That's over 200 games. So we're gonna make it a little bit easier than that. I'm gonna show you how you can get your upgrades, all 25 of your upgrades, super, super fast. All right. First thing that you're gonna wanna do is go to your options and put your difficulty on Hall of Fame. When you play on Hall of Fame, you make more VC per match than any other game mode. So you're definitely gonna wanna first put your difficulty on Hall of Fame. Next, you can put your game speed on 100. I like to put my game speed on 100 because it makes everything move faster. And you're gonna see why that's helpful in a second. You don't have to put your game speed on 100, but I recommend that you do. All right, so now that your game speed is on 100 and your difficulty is on Hall of Fame, you are ready to get these upgrades. Okay, so instead of playing 200 plus games just to get your 25 last upgrades so you can get your My Player maxed out, I have a simpler technique. If you were to sim and end the game, it wouldn't count as you playing the game. So if you send an M7 games, you won't get an upgrade at the end of those seven games. You have to play the game to get the upgrade. But there's a simpler way to get the upgrade. And there's a simpler way to play the game without actually playing the game. And the method that I use, if you haven't already figured it out, or if you haven't if you didn't already know, is filing out. Now I'm showing you guys what I do live. 
with the game speed on 100. Offense doesn't matter. I just come down and do whatever on offense. That doesn't matter. Just shoot it up. All right, now on defense, you're going you're gonna to want to intentionally foul. If you foul out of the game, it still counts as you playing it without you having to play it. If you were to sim to the end, it wouldn't count as you playing it. But if you foul out of the game, it counts as you playing the game. So to intentionally foul, you're going to want to hold down X. If you're on PlayStation, then you guys already know what the translation is for X. But yeah, you're going to want to hold down X to intentionally foul. When you do that, your player is going to grab him and you're going to be able to intentionally foul. After you foul your opponent six times, you're going to foul out of the game. And sometimes you miss them. Sometimes you go right past them like I just did there. But what I like to do is as soon as they hand the ball in like they're about to do, I start holding X right now. So then that way, by the time the, he passes the ball in, I'm already holding X to intentionally foul. Now, the reason I say that you're going to have to have a little bit of heart is because you're going to have to foul out of all of these games to get your upgrade. You're going to have to foul out of seven games to get one upgrade. And then if you want to get all 25 upgrades to get your dude to a 99 like me, then you're going to have to foul out of 200 plus games. And that might seem like a lot, but it really depends on how you look at it. For me, what I was telling myself when I was fouling out of games, because I, cause I have three dudes that are 99. So what I was telling myself when I was fouling out of games is that yeah, it takes a long time to file out of games, but the filing out of games is still way quicker than trying to play 200 plus games. So if you look at it like that, or filing out is way quicker than playing 200 plus games, then it's definitely worth it. Okay, so I just filed out of the game, as you guys saw on your screen. So now you just got to go ahead and advance through all these cutscenes. Now I wasn't moving as fast as I could, but you guys saw that didn't take that doesn't take too long to file out of a game. It takes a little bit less than 5 minutes to file out of a game. And that's just one game. So if I were to do this 7 times at the end at the end of the seventh grain, I mean, at the end of the seventh game, if I were to do this seven times, you would see something like this pop up on your screen. This means that you got an upgrade available for you to use. And like I said before, an upgrade is just one of those blocks for your player's attributes, your mind player's attributes. So just a quick recap, guys. You want to get your player to 99. First, put your difficulty on Hall of Fame. Then you're going to want to put your game speed on 100. It's going to speed stuff up and make it a lot quicker in between scenes and stuff like that. Then you're going to want to come down and either hold X or square, depending on what system you're on, to intentionally foul. You intentionally foul six times. You foul out of the game. And then every seven games you file out of, you get an upgrade for your dude. And if you do that, you will be able to get your dude to a 99. Now, they've changed it. The last thing that I wanted to say before I go, they changed it. When the game first came out, every game that you would file out of, you would receive about 1,000 VC. Now, when you file out of games, you only get about 500, 600 on Hall of Fame. So when you start getting less upgrades available and you start getting higher to the top of your uh, player's meter for whatever attribute you're trying to put up, it's going to start costing a lot more VC. 
so you might not have enough, you might not make enough VC while filing out at the games to upgrade your dude to 99. You might need to go hit the stage or hit the park or go buy some VC. But that's not a, that's not a huge problem. The main problem is getting the upgrades available. And I'm telling you guys, the best advice I got to you is to just go ahead and take a day, take two days, and just grind out, just grind them out. Just grind out you filing out. It's going to be annoying for those two days. Yes, it is. But once you finish, your dude's going to be a 99, and you're going to be able to do everything. There's not going to be anything that you can't do. So I really do feel like it's worth it. This video ended up being way longer than I wanted it to be, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope this wasn't too confusing. I wanted to do a live commentary and not just me putting a voiceover because then it wouldn't it wouldn't be as easy for you guys to understand it. But if I do it, if I do it live for you guys, hopefully I'm hoping that it makes it easier for you guys to understand. So if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like it. I'm sorry for all of the stutters or whatever, but hey, that's how you know I'm doing it live. As always, it's your boy Oprah Side, nigga. Please be sure to subscribe and like this video. We got more videos on the way. I got a Magic Johnson video dropping later today for my team, man. We got Magic Johnson in my team, and he is crazy. I got a Magic Johnson video dropping. We got a Real Nigga Advice series coming soon this week. A lot to be on the lookout for. But as always, it's your boy Oprah Side, nigga. I'm out, y'all. Peace.